Every day, millions of people with diabetes measure their blood glucose levels by pricking their fingers. For years, researchers have been looking for a painless, non-invasive but reliable way of measuring blood glucose levels. Um, I first found out I had diabetes when I was nine years old um, and finger pricking as a child was, it was quite painful and quite upsetting. In 23 years of being diabetic, I've pricked my fingers around 33,000 times. I'm supposed to test four to six times a day now. Um, my diabetes can be quite erratic, but as a busy working mum, um, I do find it quite difficult to sit down and, and actually test my blood. Well, Jin's developed a novel laser-based technique to measure blood glucose, and we carried out a study of this system in a cohort of type 1 diabetes patients. And it's preliminary data, but it provides encouraging results that suggests that with refinement, the system may be equivalent uh, to the sort of test results produced by a finger pricking method. And this has great benefits for certain groups of patients, particularly young adults, children, women who are going through pregnancy with diabetes, etc. So it's very encouraging at the present time. There have been uh, numerous attempts in the past to develop non-invasive glucose monitors, but their attempts have been failed so far. And our technology is quite different in the way we measure the glucose concentration through the skin. And this is a cost-effective and uh, effect efficient technique to measure glucose. At the heart of the technology is a piece of glass, which is uh, where we put our finger down or which is in contact with the skin. And this is made of a particular technology developed at Leeds uh, using laser-based materials processing. And the, with this, what we are doing is we have a nano-engineered surface on the glass which interacts with the skin and measures the glucose concentration in the blood. We are now in the product development phase in which we are developing two products. One is a finger touch meter and a wearable continuous monitoring device. And these devices we, will be compatible with the mobile phone platforms. And during this process, we have to go through clinical trials and uh, uh, approvals from regulatory authorities. In the end of that, we hope we'll have a product which will help millions of people with diabetes out there.